Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome to my fourth ever unofficial reassembly tournament. Yay! <laughs> Super fun. I'm really excited today. But before we get started, let's just go over the rules again of the competition for those of you that want to join in for next time. So first off, um, if you want to enter, please send me an email because it has been working really, really well with the exported versions of your ships. And I will go over how to export your ships at the end of the tournament. We'll try to do that on uh, probably video two, at the end of video two, kind of like what I did last time, or maybe I'll even make, make a separate video for doing it. But we have four basic categories of ships that compete. Uh, so we have our gunship category, which is 500p ships, so no bigger than 500p. We have our battle cruiser category. Was we we tried destroyer, and I was corrected that a battle cruiser would actually be bigger than a destroyer. Destroyer isn't as big. Anyway, so it, the second category is the battle cruiser uh, category, which is 4,000p. Then we have the dreadnought category, which is 8,000p. So if you wish to enter into any one of these categories, you can go up to but not over the P amount. So your ship can be up to 500p, 4,000p, or 8,000p. Good. Got it? Awesome. And then, um, currently at this time, we do not allow ships that use spinning as a tactic to win a battle. Um, just because it can kind of mess with things. Although, <laughs> I, I did the, uh, the tournament with, the official tournament with the developer the other day, and with, uh, for the Dreadnought category, or for the larger ships, the spinny ships were not doing as well, but I don't know. Either way, we're, we're keeping the spinny ships in a separate category called physics benders. So within this category, you may enter any ship you wish. Now, I hope that I have enough time to do a physics bender competition because we're going to be adding in the ships that the the people that want to enter in their spinny ships for today as well as whoever tried to enter for the March 8th competition as well. So in any case, go ahead and enter into any one of these categories. And if you have a spinny ship, please go ahead and say you want to enter it into the physics benders and I'll enter it into the physics benders. Now, there is one other category and that is our champions category. To become, to be entered into the cha champions category, you have to have won any one of these competitions. So in other words, you either have to have won a, gun, a gunship tournament, a battlecruiser tournament, a dreadnought tournament, or a physics bender tournament to be part of the champions category, which of course we will have a separate event for those tournaments. Okay, so let's get to it. Right away, we are going to do the probe competition. So today, like I said, we have 28 com competitors. They all look awesome. Look at the diversity. I'm really excited. So away we go. We're Oh, and we're gonna do bracket competition. And there we go. Wow, a lot of competitors today. So if if they start to take a little bit long here, I'm gonna start to speed them up because I don't want this video to be like four hours long. But here we go, we've got uh, Kozilex Predator versus uh, Excyprobe, Excyprobe Mark IV. So Excyprobe I think was a little small for the competition, but uh, wow, neat little, uh, looks like he's got an antimatter, or oh, a uh, plasma, a little plasma gun on him. Excellent, neat little ship. I love turreted, I love turreted uh, guns on the small ships. I think that's very cool. But it looks like uh, Kozilek has a lot of armor. You might be in for a hard time here, Side Probe. Yeah, that armor, like that's just, Faction 1 armor is hard to get through. And uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? The armor actually is not that heavy. Well, the engines are really good in Faction 1 too, so yeah. Good first fight. <laughs> so we got Light Lancer versus Silverfish. Uh, Silverfish, of course, using missiles. Looks like he's got some proton swords. Oh, wow. Took him out. I didn't even identify who the other... Light Lancer. Okay, so Light Lancer. It looks like he's got a faction four. And, you know, I've noticed, you know, now that we're using 500p as the... For the probe competition or for the lighter ship competition. Sorry, gunship competition. Um, it now allows you to do some more interesting designs, like Faction 4 designs. Notice we didn't have a lot of really interesting Faction 4 designs. Sorry, Lancer, you lost that, but uh, Silverfish, the, you know, the missiles. So now that we are, we're, we're allowing 500p, wow. This is in the probe comp to deal with... <laughs> this is in the probe comp to deal with it, fool, aka Bob. <laughs> also known as Bob. Okay, so it looks like it's just a lot of armor and some big engines. It is, it, it did fall within the 500p, so interesting. Inter 
resting. I, I don't... Maybe I did screw up? I don't think so. Uh, sorry, I'm actually baffled. I hope I didn't screw up the point value there, but I, I'm pretty sure that's correct. I think those are all just little tiny either antimatter guns. No, they would, they would probably be little point defense guns or plasma guns or something. They are antimatter guns. I don't know, but they're really fast firing. And uh, it looks like... I'm just going to speed it up here because it looks like those missiles... It's just going to be... It's going to be a points game here. Wow, Larvae is... No, it's anybody's game. If the Larvae wouldn't get in so close, you know, he maybe wouldn't get hit at all, but uh, yeah. <laughs> this is in the probe comp. Deal with it, fool, aka Bob. So I'm assuming you're calling me fool. That's okay. That's okay. I can take it. Uh, so anyway, uh, interesting. I would think if the larvae just kind of backed off, that, uh, but then the larvae doesn't... Nobody's really controlling that except for the AI. Interesting design. So it's all armor. So he's taking advantage of the fact that armor doesn't require any P to your ship. So you can have as much armor as you like. And he's just using used his points to put uh, big engines and little guns on a ship. Interesting. I'm pretty sure I watched all of the P um, when I was adding the ships to the competition, so I'm positive that he didn't go over. Interesting. Interesting design. I, I bet you he's going to do quite well in this competition. Okay, Iconian Fighter versus Little Buglet. So as I was saying, uh, now that we've made it so that oh look at the the shell came off of uh, little buglet is that ever cool now that we've allowed 500p ships um we're gonna start to see uh, i think a little bit more interesting designs i think 250 was too limiting um in other words uh faction four ships couldn't even compete because modular guns were just a little too expensive to use effectively and now with 500p like le oh wow so Little Buglet turned himself into a spinner, but I'm not, I'm not seeing any guns with Little Buglet, so I'm not sure... He's not firing at all, I don't think, is he? I don't think so, but uh, Iconian Fighter is uh, continuing to, to pound at him. I don't know, I don't... Maybe, maybe all the guns were on that shell of Little Buglet, but... Uh, oh no, it's not looking good. Not looking good for Little Buglet. There it goes. There it goes. Slow motion. Slam! Just like that. Done. <laughs> well done. Well done. Interesting. I like your I like your design. I I I've seen that before. Not that exact design, but that kind of idea where you just have the engines on all four sides, so you have north, south, east, and west engines, and it makes for a really maneuverable ship. And you know that in combination with uh, I think those are plasmas on there. That you know it makes for a highly effective ship. And you know the engines work kind of like armor you know I mean of course you don't want to lose your engines you don't want to get your engine shot off but if you have two layers of them uh, both side by side and and like that I just I just think that's that's a really neat design it acts as, as armor little buglet I love the look of your ship I love faction 7 I think faction 7 you can do some really neat designs and they look kind of avian but I'm not seeing any guns from little buglet so yeah, and it doesn't look like you've applied any damage here. But anyway, I think Iconian's got it. I'm just going to speed it up, finish her off. Good try, little buglet. But uh, Iconian Fighter's got the maneuverability and the firepower. He's got missiles and plasmas. Okay, so now we have Wandering Star versus Quantum Defibrillator. <laughs> Defibrillizer, sorry. Wa Wandering Star, again, using that. Oh, no, he's got even more engines than that. So he's got north, south, east, and west, as well as north, west, southwest, etc. Right, so really neat. And then Quantum Defibrillator has... Uh, Lots of engines as well, and some uh, proton beams, I think they are. I was corrected uh, <laughs> after the last episode, or after the last tournament. tournament. I'm, I'm trying to get all of the weapons correct, but I think those are proton beams, and the proton swords are the ones that have the tur are the turreted ones. So yeah, Quantum Defibril... And the, the, uh, the beam weapons in the probe competition can be excellent, because they just dig through. They just, they just cut to the core. But, uh, and if you've got the maneuverability as well, and I just love that design, it looks, uh, if I was going to build a spaceship in real life and fly it in space, that's what it would look like, the defibrillizer. I really like the look of that ship. It looks amazing. It looks like a wing commander ship. That, you know what I mean? Like, okay, lost gunship. Ooh, another interesting, and it's not symmetrical. Look at that. Oh, I love it. 
It's not ever neat. And it looks like he's got some missiles. And then we have gunship coil cannon good stuff. So we have seen, of course, his designs before and uh, excellent designs. And again, like I said, now that uh, now that we can have ships 500p, he's able to use some of his modular guns to fight in the probe competition as well. Looks like he's, he's really getting distance, but I don't know. He's really got to have a lucky shot to fire off one of those modular uh, weapons and actually get a hit. Oh, but that was a lucky shot. Well done. I'm going to speed it up just a little bit because I think it's just going to be luck of the draw here. I think he's able to get away from his missiles. No problem. I, in other words, gunship is able to get away from lost gunship. <laughs> Sorry, they're both gunships. Sorry, the lost gunship versus coil. So we'll call them lost and coil. So it looks like lost just can't keep up with him. Uh, gun, uh, coil just has way too much speed, but uh, he's not really, he, he got a couple shots and then he's leaving. You know, that's how to, that's how to win. <laughs> just get the points in and then leave, right? So, uh, we got lost against coil here again and coil again, he's got to get, uh, he's got to snipe. That's what he's trying to do is snipe and get a couple sh good shots in there and then run away. <laughs> and, uh, uh, lost, I think all you have... Oh no, you've got some short range weapons. If you can get in close, you might be able to apply a little bit of damage, but you're really going to have to... Yeah, I, I just don't think you've got the speed to do it, so I'm just going to speed it up a little bit more here, because uh, we have a lot of ships to get through, but uh, interesting fight, and I think is long... Oh, there, no, there, Coil got it. Coil got that one shot in, so that could be what wins the game for him. <sighs> anyway, great try, Lost. It's just, you know, he, he just outran you. It's just that simple. He just outran you. Okay, so we have Garden Minnow versus Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix version 1. Phoenix has a lot of engines and, and a missile launcher. And uh, what are those? Those are uh, those are definitely rail guns. <laughs> awesome. And oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I didn't even take a Garden Minnow. Um, yeah, he's able to sit there and snipe. But you've got... You've got some lasers, you've got some defense lasers, and you've got uh, you've got a big Arcus laser or something. PRP laser or something. Anyway, uh, interesting. I just... Phoenix really outmaneuvered you. Sorry about that, Garden Minnow. But uh, maybe next time. Gar the Shard versus... Uh, this is supposed to be Y-Wing Fighter. I was asked by the creator of the ship to call it the Y-Wing. He just misspelled it. So... I get, of course, from Star Wars, the so Y-Wing. And then we've got the Shard, which is using lots and lots of plasmas. And it uh, looks like they're both Faction 1? No, that... I'm pretty sure the Shard isn't Faction 1. Oh, wow! Y-Wing wins it! Yes, it's T-Wing, but it's Y-Wing. He asked me to be sure that everybody knew it was meant to be Y-Wing. Awesome! So, uh, the Shard, it looks like... I think he's using... I'm not sure what faction that is. That... I don't think that's Faction 1. Maybe it is, but, uh... Yeah... It looks like the Y-Wing is, I can't, it's really hard for me to see. So I know he has missiles, which I'm assuming is supposed to simulate the, uh, oh, and he's, oh, and he's got two lasers in the front there too. Oh, okay. Well done. Well done, Y-Wing. Excellent. So now we have Kunen's 500 tournament hands and MPWM Mark II. Ooh, lot proton beams. Four proton beams on that tournament on Kunan's. And we have a lot of missiles coming out of Mark II here. Oh, and I don't know if Kudan's got the maneuverability to dodge all those. It looks like he's already chunked into some of those, some of that armor. Oh no, oh no, it's just... And unfortunately with Kudan's design, he has to aim. So, <laughs> not having engines, that's not good. And of course, not having engines when you're fighting somebody with missiles is even worse. So, it looks like he's grown back all of his armor though. He might, I don't know, it's, he's, just, he's just running now. Uh, so, and it looks like uh, MP might just win it just from points alone. Uh, he is getting, he is getting some more shots in there, but I don't think he's going to be able to destroy Kunan. Uh, that's, I would have loved to see you get in there and get a couple good, a couple more good shots off Kunan, but I don't think you're going to be able to pull it off. <laughs> good fight, though. Good fight. And two, one, done. All right, good job, MPW. And round two. So Kunan is, yeah, he's trying to get those those beams off right at the beginning before he gets starts getting chased. But uh, because as soon as he starts getting chased, it's pretty much all over. Because yeah, well, good try, Kunan. But uh, better luck next time. Assault rifle versus hummingbird. And it looks like assault rifle has a faction four modular gun on it, and hummingbird is 
course, using missiles. Pretty sure it's missiles. Yes, those are missiles coming in. And these assault rifles already done some pretty serious damage. It must have done it with the, the defense lasers there. Oh, there it goes. It's just two and there it goes. Oh, he's nailing them hard. You know, I, if I was building Faction 4 ships for this competition, I'd almost be tempted to do lasers above, over and above the modular weapons. Or, or maybe that is a modular laser. I don't know. I haven't played Faction 4. And yes, folks, I will be playing Faction 4 very quickly here. And I will be doing it on YouTube. And we're going to be starting over very soon because I really want to experience um, all of the glory that Faction 4 is. So it looks like he's got... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I don't know a lot about the weapons. I know that you can pretty much make them do whatever you want them to do. But anyway, it looks like uh, Assault Rifle is going to dominate over Hummingbird. Even though, oh, he is getting hit. But just, uh, Hummingbird just can't, oh, he did it. He did it right on. Well done, Hummingbird. Okay, round three. I, I just totally unexpected. The missiles got in there and just hit the right spot. I wonder if it's, where's the command center? Maybe it's right at the front there. I'm not sure. Because maybe the command center got hit on assault rifle, and maybe it just needs to be behind a little bit more armor. Because wow, he sure sure nailed him good there. But it looks like the shield's gone from Hummingbird, and he's just trying to keep his distance. While assault rifle, I wonder that if that modular gun. It's what it's funny that the AI won't fire it sometimes, eh? So even faction four ships, it doesn't fly uh, as efficiently as I think it could. Anyway, so it looks like uh, looks like Assault Rifle is actually winning this one. And But even, even if he just keeps his distance now, he might just pull it off. I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. Um, although, if he gets in close, he might just get hit a few too many times by those missiles, too. Uh, interesting. Yep. I think I think Assault Rifle is going to take it because it's... You know, it's funny. So the... Oh! I was just about to say, at the beginning of the battle, it seems like, you know, they try a few different things. And then as the battle... Continues. No, Hummingbird won it. Wow. Yeah, totally proved me wrong there. Okay, and here we have, I saw this design earlier, literal flagship. So yes, it is actually a flag. I don't know what kind of flag that's supposed to be. Uh, maybe I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not versed. I don't know my flags all that well, but it does look like a flag. I'm actually super impressed. That's super funny. And then we have Gunship 1. I, I'm sorry, I don't remember the creators. Uh, anyway, I just, I love the literal flagship. I love designs like this. Makes me so happy. Unfortunately, you just can't keep up with gunship. He's just hitting you. One, oh, it's drones. The drones are coming in and, and hitting you a couple times. And then, and then you take them out. I just don't think you're going to be able to survive this. Although you are catching up. Looks like you are actually catching up. I just don't think you're going to be able to catch up in time. I sped it up just a little bit. I love the design though. I, I love the flag. I just think that's that's super fun. I love designs like that. It just makes me happy. Okay, so same kind of thing. I don't think that literal flagship is going to have the speed to, to catch up. And gunship can just continue to pelt him. And away we go. So just like that. Sorry flagship. I love your design. Just wasn't fast enough. Okay, and this one proving deluxe wrong is using the third faction i'm always trying to see if somebody can build one a ship from the third faction that can at least survive at least survive one round unfortunately shade was able to just dig in with that laser they just they just eat the red faction apart look at that oh oh i would love it if you just i'd love it if you just nailed look how quickly the red ship rebuild so yeah sorry nice try though I, again i challenge anybody to build a ship from faction three that can survive for even one round in these competitions because uh, it's tough. Okay, now we have uh, 12 500 Pro versus Lightning Lancer. Lightning Lancer using, of course, lasers. That makes sense. And uh, 12 500 Pro, just a couple uh, drone launchers. I think he's Faction 12, which is the unplayable drone faction or the bees. Uh, I've he I'm hearing I'm hearing these names, and I'm trying to figure out names for the factions rather than the numbers because it can be a bit confusing. Because when you're looking at the start screen with reassembly, of course, they're listed in order. You've got a row of three, another row of three, and then the one. So you could look at them as faction one to seven, but there's actually 15. So it becomes a little confusing to people when I'm saying faction seven, when it's actually something else. So I'm trying to find names for these factions. And I think the Bs for the unplayable drone faction, laser drone faction, which I think is what's destroying Lightning Lancer so badly here. So yeah, I think 12500 probe has got it. I'm just gonna speed it up because, yeah, pretty much out of uh, out of Lightning Lancer's control now. He just can't compete with the drones. 
Interesting that, that you can put three of those drones. I wonder if the drone ships are going to dominate in the probe competition. I don't know, because probes can travel really fast. So I wonder maybe if, if a... Or, sorry, I keep saying probe. Gunship. These gunships, you know, with the right, right amount of engines, might be able to catch up to the pro... Catch up to the other gunship using probes. Or drones. Oh, I'm confusing myself now. You, you guys know what I'm saying. In the gunship competition, I don't know if the drones are going to dominate. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so now we have Kozilex Predator once again against Lossifun. <laughs> Ooh, look at the lasers. Pretty lasers. That's awesome. All right, so I don't know if he's going to be able to get through that armor, though. There's a lot of armor on Kozilex ship, um, but uh, there's some shields on the other one. I don't know. It looks like uh, looks like Kozilek's actually dealing the damage. Yeah, and he took him out. Nice job. So Kozilek is a returning competitor. I'm sorry if I don't remember. I know that you're a returning competitor. I, I, I should have the list of the names of the, the designers. Um, I apologize. You can't always look at uh, uh, the beginning of this video to see whose ship is what, though. Um, I do know that you're a returning competitor. We've seen your, we've seen your designs before. Oh, there we go. Kozilek has won it. Excellent job. Okay, and now we have Silverfish versus this is in the probe comp. Deal with it. Fool, a.k.a. Bob. Bob? I think he meant Rob. <laughs> I think he's actually trying to say, or maybe he was talking to somebody else. I don't know. I don't know if anybody can get through all that armor it's really hard to say uh, that doesn't necessarily mean he's gonna win, win this competition because all the ship has to do is sort of keep their distance and pelt him just like HS HMSF Silverfish is kind of doing as long as he although he almost ran into that engine and lost it there yeah that would have been super funny if the engine if you were to ram the engine and died that would have been hilarious but uh, HMS HMSF Silverfish is gonna win it just because he can outmaneuver uh, the other ship. I'm sorry, I'm not going to say that one more time. You really like it when I say this is the problem. I'm not saying it anymore. Um, yeah, I think Silverfish is going to get it. Unless he gets in close and does something silly, I think he's got it. Uh, speed that up a little bit. Yeah, it's all over. You took some chunks out of him, Silverfish, but uh, you still won it either way. And once again, you can just outmaneuver and keep pelting him. Well done. Oh, you, you are getting a couple shots in. Uh, this is... <laughs> <laughs> but not enough to do enough damage. I think it's all over. <laughs> wow, 20,000 points. Holy crow. That is a lot of points. Just circles you and snipes. Fantastic. Well done, Silverfish. Okay, now we're on to Iconian. I like that design. Versus my favorite ship. I'm sorry, I, I just love that. The I don't want to say it's my favorite ship, but... It, Quantum, uh, quantum. Yeah, your ship is what I imagine what I would fly if I was in Wind Commander, you know? Or it kind of looks like a Transformer ship, you know what I mean? Like a Transformer uh, plane or something. I don't know, it looks kind of cool. I really like it. And Iconian, I just, I, I love that uh, design of having your engines facing all four directions. I just think it's really efficient. And uh, you, both of you are highly maneuverable ships. Unfortunately, I think Quantum has to aim. Whereas you don't. You've got turrets and you've got missiles, so you're able to fire at him from any direction and of course that's serving you very well I'm speeding it up just a little bit uh, but yeah it's really it's anybody's game if you can get in one or two shots there quantum you you could easily win it at any time but uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to pull that off <laughs> uh, both very maneuverable ships and both good designs in their own right it's just I think the turrets are actually gonna beat you if you had turrets on your ships quantum you know what? You might actually get in just as many shots, but uh, I just think the turrets are that. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, super funny. Okay, so I'd love to see you get one shot off. Oh, I just don't think... No. Oh, you did get a shot off. You hit him once. You nicked him. You, you, you stuck your handgun out the window and shot. <laughs> it's road rage. Uh, no, it's super awesome. I'm glad you got a point anyway. Uh, it looks like Iconia just... Yeah, those turrets. Turrets! turrets. I'm not saying the turrets always win the fight, but in with a maneuverable ship like that, you should probably have a turret on your ship with a little bit of range. Oh! Oh, did you see that? Well, I didn't mean to... Oh, what happened? What happened? What did I do? I didn't mean to do it. Oh, I hit... I hit... Oh. Whew. Oh, okay. Hold on. Sorry. Uh, there we go. I, I hit the wrong... I almost hit the self-destruct button. I apologize. So, round three. Looks like Quantum won round two. Amazing! He got that shot in. Absolutely awesome. Well done. 
Oh man, I wish I had had that in slow motion at the time. I could do a slow motion replay in the video edit, but I probably won't have time. Um, either way, very, very cool. Um, so now it gets interesting, right? All you gotta do is turn around and get that one shot in. I love how the AI acts differently every time. Uh, you know, the AI, may there may be issues with the AI not doing exactly what you expect or want it to do. Um, for now, because, yeah, Iconian. But um, it is interesting that uh, the AI will do completely random things. I absolutely love that too. So what? just when you think it's all over, all of a sudden. Okay, so here we've got gunship... Qu Oh, yes, yeah, so this is... Well, he seems like he's firing a lot more than he was last time. For some reason, he wasn't firing as much last time. Now, it, all of a sudden, he's firing. Oh, oh, took took out Vorpal. Vorpal, oh, no, you've lost something. Uh, Vorpal looks like he could be a spinning ship if he loses one of his wings, and which could serve him really well and give him a serious advantage. But uh, at least he's regrowing his engines very, very quickly. But yeah, I think he re <laughs> oh, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Faction 4, I tell you. I, I'm actually really surprised at how... Oh, he took out his gun! Took out his gun! Look at that! Get in now! Go in now, Vorpal! Take him out! You could do it! Oh, that's amazing! Wow, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, not, I don't mean to... I, I was rooting for the underdog. I apologize. But wow, look at that! Oh, without your main gun, you're in trouble, Coil. Oh, my God. I can't believe that Vorpal won that! I can't believe it. Okay, so, Gunship, you could easily win this. You just got to get that lucky shot on, right? Because you've got the range. I'm, I'm actually really, really impressed with the range of that gun. Uh, but uh, Vorpal still won it. He stole it from you. I, and look at him dodge. He's dodging like a pro. The AI's like, yeah, little left, little right. This is amazing. Okay, so Vorpal, if you can get in and do the same thing, you you will win this. Oh, you've lost a wing again! Realizing the error of your ways, you actually take a couple shots there. Oh, you've lost another wing! You can only go forward or back. Oh, wow. Fortunately, your wings are solid thrusters, so even if you lose part of it, you still have mobility, but you've taken out his gun again! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Oh, it looks like his gun is still partially... No, it's gone. It's gone. You pretty much won it. Unbelievable! Brilliant! Oh, wow. That is an amazing design. Vorpal, well done. That is a Faction 4 killer. I am so impressed with that ship. That is amazing. I'm sorry, Coil. I'm sorry. I I love your designs, man, but uh, he kind of he kind of got you there. You got to give him that one. He he dodged like a pro or the AI dodged like a pro. Okay, so we have Y-Wing Fighter versus Phoenix version 1 again. So Phoenix highly maneuverable um, using uh, Faction 4, I think. Oh no, no, the railguns, railguns, so we can hit you at range. Oh, nailed you hard. Sorry about that, Y-Wing, but I think you've bet your match. Those railguns are just amazing. So he just gets his range and then bang, 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 like that. Oh, I love it. I love it. Beautiful design. I, not just, just not just practical, but beautiful as well. I really like the Phoenix, the look of your ship. Uh, Y-Wing, you, you, really, you really got him the first round, but... Uh, or the you're the first the first fight you had you really nailed him but uh, that time you kind of got uh, outmatched I think good try though good try all right so we've got WP versus Hummingbird Hummingbird is a missile ship and WP looks like you've got a lot of missiles to, is, I think those are missiles pretty sure those are missiles too as well but you know shields might actually be the the winner in this fight uh, just the simple fact that he's got shields and you don't may actually change. The battle here because it looks like you've already you're taking hits pretty hard you just can't get out of the way of his missiles now if you had a little bit more maneuverability you might be able to pull it off but it looks like hummingbird is able to just sort of dodge and stay out of range and he's got some point defense that doesn't look like wp may have some point defense but uh it's really not enough to yeah no hummingbirds just got you beat on all fronts there sorry about that buddy okay hummingbird he's gonna do of course use that same tactic again of just blow him up <laughs> And uh, WP, it just you just don't have the maneuverability or the point defense to be able to take on another missile ship of that caliber. So yeah, he's just got you outgunned enough, I think, to win it. So I'm, oh, ah, there I go, hitting the wrong button again. Once again, okay, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. All right, and speed that up a little bit. I keep hitting the slash button, which I guess opens up the uh, debug uh option there so anyway uh hummingbird wins it fantastic okay so now we're on to 
uh, Faction 1 Thruster Craft versus Gunship 1. So Gunship 1 was able to stay out of range of the last guy. I love this. I love the, uh, uh, the look of the engines. That just looks so cool. Oh, wow. Thruster Craft. Yeah, sees using the old uh, north, south, east, west engine design, along with uh, the plasmas, very similar to, to another craft that we've seen in the competition already. Yeah, the plasma and the four thrusters. That's just a really highly maneuverable design. And you're able to dodge missiles and get in and do a whole lot of damage with those plasmas very quickly and then get out again. And oh, oh yeah, dodging those missiles. And it looks like you've got a couple missiles as well. And yeah. Gunship might be outmatched here. There you go. Faction 1 thruster craft had you. All right, Gunship 1. Let's see if you can actually get a few shots off this time. I don't know. Whoa. Whoa. Nice and close. Wow. Yeah, he's he's really picking on you. But, you know, it's almost neck and neck. Look at that. 83 by, to 82 points. All it takes is one or two good shots. And Gunship may... Oh, oh it took a big chunk off of... <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, that yeah, both faction one. I think both faction one. Yeah, yeah. Gunship is using the uh, faction one drones as well as uh, faction one antimatter guns and plasma, and it looks like the faction one thruster craft is using auto antimatter uh, uh, missiles and uh, plasmas. Yeah, really interesting. Really, really interesting. Oh, and defense guns. Yeah, I just love it. Yeah, wow, it's amazing how many guns you can actually fit on uh, the gunship ships with 500p. It's, it changes the, these these battles dramatically. So I'm just going to speed that up, and it looks like, you know, it still could be anyone's game, but I think pretty much Faction 1 Thruster Craft has got it in the bag. There we go. Excellent. So we're down to 12500 Probe versus Shade. Ooh, tricky. So Shade has the Proton Beam on it, as well as some plasma guns and some missiles. Nice, well-rounded craft, actually. And then we have Probe, who's able... Ah, uh, he's using Faction 12. Unplayable Faction 12, or the Bees. And to build, I think you have to be in sandbox mode to use pl Faction uh, to build from that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I haven't actually done it myself. But, uh, yeah, again, it's going to be the situation where you just can't keep up. And, you know, we may have to do something about not being able to make... I may have to say, well, maybe we can't use unplayable faction ships in the competition because maybe that's a little unfair but i i don't know i don't know what do you guys think uh i i, I think it's too early to say i i think it's way too early to say i think uh maybe not the end all and be all i don't know we'll see uh but it looks like in this in this in this fight it might be too good uh the the drones say they, they just see look the, the ships actually turn around and go after the drones it's not like uh you know, if there was 15 drones on a ship, sure, the ship's going to stop and just fight the drones. But if there's only one left, one drone left, the ship shouldn't be stopping to go fight the drone. But anyway, uh, yeah, Probe, you got it. Good job, yeah. Good job. All right, so now we are back to uh, Kozilex Predator versus HMSF Silverfish. And uh, Silverfish, yeah, using that maneuverability. And I don't know. I don't know. This is interesting. So he's using the Proton Beam as well. But, oh, he's in the line of fire. Oh, that's got to hurt. Silverfish. Oh, nice. Wow. Missiles took him out. So it looks like the blast radius of the missiles took out your command center there. So, and here we go. Doing it again. Kozilek's got a lot of armor. And the way that his armor is placed is really ingenious. If you look at it. So it, it takes a lot to actually dig through that armor just because of the, the, little, the little chunks of, you know, schmutz or whatever that's sticking out on his armor it just makes it way more difficult to get through and get at his soft and underbelly so i think that's what's making kozilek a worthy competitor yeah well done well done uh aside from drone ships you may be okay anyway so we've got iconian fighter versus vorpal i really like vorpal vorpal's design is fantastic i like them both i like i i, I mean obviously i've said my piece about both ships but uh, vorpal was was absolutely flown like an expert I, unfortunately didn't do so well that time but I, I would say Vorpal is designed to take out faction 4 he is a faction the enemy of faction 4 like wow they see that a faction 4 ship sees this ship coming and he's like oh we better leave because Vorpal will just dodge and then destroy our main gun and kill us <laughs> but I don't think you're going to be so good against missile ship yeah good I, I still think he did well anyway good job Iconian and we are down to Two more, and then we're on the final two. All right, so Hummingbird versus Phoenix. Hummingbird, lots of missiles with some shields, and Phoenix, again, 
highly maneuverable using those rail guns so he can nail people at range. I really like that concept, but I... Well, he's, he's doing the damage and he's able to dodge those uh, missiles. He may just be able to pull it off, although looks like he kind of faltered there for a second, lost a couple things, maybe engines, and if he loses too many engines, oh, he's lost his rear engines, this might be the end for him, Hummingbird is just gonna eat you up, oh no, oh no, you just, if you can't get away and dodge those missiles, you're in big trouble, and it looked like one little mistake, and, oh, but look, you've rebuilt almost all of your engines, well done, oh, except he just lost another big chunk, yeah, oh, he's still able to maneuver really well, and do some of that damage, I don't know, that's a close fight, very close fight. He keeps getting hit though. I think, uh, Phoenix, uh, here's what you need to do. Not get hit. And, uh, Hummingbird, just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> oh, I thought Phoenix was going to turn into a spinny ship there. And, oh, no! Nails him! Beautiful fight. Excellent job, Hummingbird. Well done. Phoenix, let's see if you can do a little bit better. You just got to outmaneuver those missiles, but I don't know. I think the whole driving in a circle thing and then coming back doesn't work when you're fighting a ship with missiles. But then the uh, AI wouldn't know this. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but the developer of ReAssembly is working on a way so that you can set up your ships to follow a certain type of script. Or say say you want your ships to be highly aggressive and just rush into the enemy ship and ignore everything and not worry about pulling defense. You can set up your ship to do that. Now, I don't know exactly what that's going to look like. But uh, Arthur Danskin, the developer, said he's going to be working on that. He's always also going to be working on some different tournament modes, which I'm really excited about. So Fleet versus Fleet, which sounds amazing. So it is exactly as 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 it sounds. You're just gonna you both you and and the enemy are gonna start with a fleet. And, you're going to be able to, your ships will just build uh, whatever's in the queues and, and then it'll be this big fleet battle. It'll be super cool. I can't wait for that. And then there's also another kind of competition coming. Excellent job, Hummingbird. I kind of figured the missiles might win it. Then there's going to be another kind of competition where, uh, or a tournament, where both ships start as just a command module and it builds the ship at the beginning. So both ships will build, oh, here we go, the probes against... Oh, Faction 1 Th Thundercraft. He may have enough firepower to take out those drones. I don't know. Taking out the drones is one thing, but actually applying damage is something else. Uh, see, that's the thing. The ships just focus too much. He's actually turning around to go after the drones. So even though I just... Yeah, there's got to be... There's got to be... I think... Yeah, I think there does to need to be a little bit of a AI improvement to the way that ships deal with these types of drones. Um, cause they, 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 they just get, they treat it like, yeah, no, I, I, I think there needs to be a change and I may have to institute some kind of, uh, change in the way that we're doing these tournaments and not allow, unfortunately, the bees just because I, I don't think the AI is acting completely as it should here because if, 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 if there was a, if the ship was surrounded by, by drones, of course, the ship should be fighting only the drones, but it looks like it just gets distracted even by one it will actually turn around and go the opposite direction of the enemy carrier yeah and yeah i just don't know if that's a good job camo i mean i think that's camel five ship i think pretty sure that's camo five ship it looks it has him written all over it and you may actually win this tournament and uh well done but uh keep keep stay tuned because i may actually have to change whether or not we're allowing the unplayable factions in the competition. Because uh, it seems like this one may be a little too unbalanced. But we'll see. We'll see. Because, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> or maybe we'll just, you know, we'll shift you over to the uh, physics benders. Uh, it'd be really interesting to see how the physics benders deal with, with drone ships, actually. Or the spinny ships deal with that kind of ship. So anyway, yep. Good job, Camel 5. Uh, okay, so now we are on the final four. So we have Kozilek versus Iconian. And this should be really interesting. Uh, a lot of armor versus a lot of maneuverability. And, uh, I, oh, it looks like Okonian's already lost a big engine. That's not good. Or, or some guns. Oh, no, the engines are gone. Oh, maybe. No, no, he's just lost some missile launcher. Now the engines... Ah, there we go. But you did take some damage there, Kozlek. Now you're facing some... some some threat here so you know you gotta be careful you've already lost all your left engines Kozilek that's not good that's not good but so does Iconian keeps oh chunks off of Iconian <laughs> oh that's terrible yeah you got some distance there that's good look you are actually digging through all that armor that's amazing look at how much damage you've actually applied that's really impressive knock off another one of those engines and he may be in serious trouble here he, he may be dead in the water if you just keep doing that. Look at him! He's just a husk! Oh, that's amazing! 
Well done! Oh, just a little bit more. Oh, unbelievable! I can't believe he did that! Wow! Beautiful fight! Oh, that's the best fight we've seen so far today. Oh, except I, Cody, and you're just losing. Oh, all your engines. Oh! It was such a good second battle. Ah, oh, good job, Kozilek. Okay, so Hummingbird versus Probe. I think that Probe's probably going to get this by default just because of AI doesn't know how to deal with those drones. And, yeah. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I think he can keep him. Now, see, once he gets the distance, I think it's all over. I'm going to speed it up. Yep. Yep. I think it's all over. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, the AI just can't deal with it. And, you know, I was talking to the developer uh, during the official tournaments. I think probably Probe will get it here. This is the final battle. <sighs> yeah. I would be really impressed if there was a way... See, he turns around. He shouldn't be turning around to use his main guns on, on, the, uh, on the drones. I think that's where it's failing. Uh, really, Kozilek should be co constantly trying to move closer to 12500 Probe, but, uh, but he's not doing it. So I think, I think we're going to lose. You're going to lose just from these beam drones. So I think probably... Uh, stay tuned, uh, guys, but I think the B faction is going to be part of... Uh, moved over to the physics bender category just because it is it is technically an unplayable faction and it's really maybe not designed to be used by humans at this point because uh, it looks like the drones the way that the AI tries to literally turn around and go the other direction seems a little unfair so anyway I think you're gonna win it by default it was a good fight and you know what Everybody's a winner in this competition because I just every design had its merits. You, you can't tell me that, and and there is no one ship that was in this competition that I you could look at and say wasn't cool because they were all cool. Um, so anyway, I think that uh, yeah, we're just gonna speed it up because I'm pretty sure we know how this is gonna end. Uh, even even by points alone, even if you don't get through and get into the soft underbelly there, yeah, it looks like it's all over. Good job, good job. I think that was Camel 5 again. Okay, I'll be right back with Cruisers.